Good morning, modern steaders. Boy, is it windy out this morning. We thought we were gonna lose power last night. It's been so windy. Luckily, we haven't. It's 28 degrees out this morning. Nice and brisk, guys. The goats are quiet this morning. They're usually noisy as we're walking down to them. You woke up, I hear ya. Morning, girl. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, Hope. Did you sleep good last night, huh? Did you sleep good? Yeah, you're nice and warm. Some chaff hay. It's your favorite part, huh? You be good. I'll come back out in a little bit and check on you. Get the girls some hay. Thank you girls are liking this new batch of hay, aren't you? You've been eating it up pretty quick. The one good thing about all this wind is it really helps dry out all the mud and the snow and the puddles. It's amazing. Even when it's cold out like this, how much drying out that wind can do. Which is good because with all the snow melting, we could be flooding out pretty quickly. But I think with all the wind we've been getting, it's helping that out. But it's cold! <sighs> I told you this morning. That wind is so strong, it sounds like the greenhouse is gonna blow apart. There, now they can get in there and lay their eggs later on. We got a couple of roosters that we need to send to freezer camp. And it'll make it a lot quieter in the morning. Curious to see max wind gust, 21 degrees. Hi, oh, he's bringing you a stick. Hopefully you don't blow away today. It's breezy. 21 mile per hour wind gusts we are having. It is. I can't hear you, what's that? Seems more like a hundred miles per hour though. Right. They were trying to get that leaf. He likes watching the leaves blow around. Okay, have a good day at school. Love you. Not sure if it's gonna be windy like this all day long or not, but there was a tarp over that wood pile. <laughs> there isn't any more, guys. <sighs> that wind is being hard on everything this morning. Starting to see more and more grass and dirt. Good morning, guys. Or girls, I should say. Moose, how we doing? It's always quiet lately every time I bring the camera in. Oh, she didn't like me taking her egg. Thank you, ladies. Sure is funny how these last couple of spots don't want to melt. Oh, so close to being able to let the chickens out. Oh, I keep saying that every day. It's weird that this one corner doesn't want to melt. It's coming for you. 
We got plenty of grass over here showing. We need that to happen in that back corner. And then Moose and his ladies can get out. Shut it off. Open up the incubator, place it warm in there. Check, see if it needs any more water. Yeah, we'll pop off the water before we get the eggs in there. I wanna fill up these center channels with water. Let's see if we can do it without making a mess. And from now on, we fill it up. We can fill it up right through that center hole. If you didn't watch Saturday's video, I'll put a link to that video right here. When we went and we picked up the eggs, we talked about what kind of eggs they are, and we got them from our friends at Freedom Feathers Farm. Thanks again for these eggs. So exciting. So, the first batch of eggs in the incubator for the season, guys. Always exciting. The OCD in me is making me go a little staggered. Looks pretty. We want to go pointy side down. We've had these eggs setting for a little while so that room temperature, the air cells in them have gotten back to normal. I wanted to put them in the incubator right away, but you need to let your eggs sit for at least 24 hours before. You put them in the incubator. Oh, that looks so pretty. I gotta plug in the egg turner. Styrofoam back on. This is just to help keep the heat in the incubator so it'll use le less electricity while we're incubating the eggs. This incubator has a day counter on it, and it takes about 21 days for a chicken egg to hatch. Day 18, we'll take them out, and we'll take out the egg turner, and then we'll put them back in, and then from there on out, we don't need to turn the eggs. The egg turner turns every two hours. We want temperature to be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and the humidity around 60 to 65% humidity. We can't control the humidity setting with the machine. It alarm, alarm goes off when it gets down below 45%, and then we gotta add more water. So we just gotta keep an eye on it and make sure we're not too high when they're at the, and that we're in the right range. When we get to day eight of the eggs being in the incubator, we'll take them out and we'll candle them. We'll see how they're doing. Any of the ones that aren't viable, we'll get rid of at that point. We'll put them back in, and then we'll candle them one more time. Day 15, day 18, we get to shut, we don't get to shut the incubator off, we get to take out the egg turner. And on day 19, we get to stop listening or chirping. <sighs> right, girls? Yeah, you're not always the nicest things, are you? What are you doing, girl? Come on out. Come on out, Hope. I'll protect you as much as I can. Okay, let me shut the door so they don't get in your area.
Girl's gonna be nice. Yeah. Listen to that wind, holy moly. The wind's blowing so strong, it blew the straw and hay right out of that center section pretty good. Jesus. Here, we'll get you some hay, Hope. There you go. I know, you wanna be out with the other girls. It's not quite time yet. We're getting there though, we're getting there. Drank lots of water. Good job. Eat lots of hay, stay warm. It's a windy day. When Livy's gets home this afternoon, we'll be able to take you out, okay? If you were nicer to her, she'd be out with you all the time. You too. Say, I'm still a little girl. I need to get my strength up. So I can fight back and kick your butts. Huh. Part of our roof is starting to blow off, guys. I'll have to repair that right there. We lost a screw or what happened right there? What are you doing? You silly. The wind's blowing 15 miles per hour and it what did blow up to 25 miles per hour. Whew. That's a windy. One experiment I did last year with that tomato plant, once they get a little bit older, like this size, I don't water them all the time. I let them get a little wilty, and then I water them. I'm trying to get our plants to grow as strong as possible. If there's any weak ones, I'd rather have them die in the house, and we can just plant the good ones out in the garden. I want plants that are gonna be hardy and that I don't have to worry about watering constantly. So if we can get a good, strong plant in here, we did this last year and we had awesome luck with the tomato plants we planted. We didn't lose any and the harvest of tomatoes we got was unbelievable. Ready to get some more shots? Tana's gonna go to the vet and get two booster shots today. You got your dog sitting on your lap while you're reading a book? Yeah. Oh, so precious. You don't want to go to the vet. You don't want to get another shot. You got a treat in your hand. I know what you guys are up to. 12.6, you're huge. Gained a pound, <laughs> I think. No, two pounds. Two pounds? Yeah. Where are you going? Pull this one? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get out there. Yeah, it was 10.7. Good job. Yeah. Here's one. Come on. You won't even know. Oh. I do. That's it. And then when should we make his appointment to be neutered? You can make it any time. Okay. Yeah, we, we book maybe a week or two out. Yep. Um, so. You're all done, Tana. You don't got to go back for three more months. I put the eggs in the incubator. I did, so in three weeks, Yay. we should have some baby chicks. Yay. Oh, it is flowing now. 
It yeah, wasn't it earlier. It. Needs to get fixed right there. And right there. Come on, help! Better cup now. What are you doing, Hope? You staying in? Make your way through. Quick! Quick! Before they get you! Get out before they get you! They don't scare you, do they, Hope? They don't scare you, huh? She says, you girls don't scare her. She's gonna eat your goat minerals. They're coming for you! Nothing phases you, huh? Come on out, we'll run around for a little bit. Quick, come on out. She's gonna get you. She's gonna get you. Gross. You're not very nice, girl. You're not very nice. Come here, Hope. Go see Livy's. I gotta say, it's all dried up pretty good. You don't like that, do you? No. Oh, you wanna play in the mud? That wind is drying it up. Yeah. Oh, so much grass. But did it clear up over here? Ah, not yet, not yet. So close. Thank you, ladies. Yeah, I think you found the mud. And then there's some water. Mmm, yummy. Should take you a bare feet. No. Maybe. It's like a day at the spa. Oh, you gotta clean your boots. Yeah. You can get them dirty tomorrow. Yeah. It doesn't get on, uh. 
gets most of it. Now it makes the least stuff to me. It's supposed to be a cold one tonight, guys. Gotta get a fire going. What do you say, Hope? Hope's like, give me that chaff, hey. You girls ready for your night snack? Okay. Look at that beautiful sunset. You like our Christmas lights? We didn't share dinner tonight because the girls are feeling a little under the weather. Tanner's. Not liking the shots that he got at the vet, so hopefully tomorrow morning Tana wakes up feeling better and so do the girls. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us guys. We'll see you right back here in the next video. Remember, life is happening for us, not to us. Everything has a reason and is always a learning experience in everything that happens. So we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, the guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.